electricity can be dangerous and can cause serious injury and even death, uh, especially household electricity, which is at 230 volts. So here are four hazards. We need to explain them a little bit more and to explain what can be done to protect against them. So first of all, what happens if a loose live wire touches a metal casing, such as a toaster casing? Well, that would make the casing electrified. Now, you wouldn't know it until you touched the casing, and then you would get an electric shock, which could be pretty, pretty serious. So that's uh, prevented with an earth wire, which, which provides a return path for the current to flow via the metal case. And that high current will cause a fuse to blow. Now we explore this in another flashcard, so um, we'll leave the detail for then. But all you need to know is that we can avoid an electrified metal casing by using an earth and a fuse wire. So let's do that. So metal casing, metal casing can become live or electrified and this can cause so which can cause an electric shock what can we do to reduce this so use an earth wire connected to casing to the casing and a fuse in the plug in the plug and that fuse will blow because of the high current and that will cut off the uh, electricity supply to the appliance making the appliance safe now damp conditions are a problem and they're a hazard for example in a bathroom Water is not a very good conductor, but it will conduct electricity. So if any electrical sockets get damp or light switches, uh, the push variety, then if you touch them, you may receive an electrical shock. So that's why, at least in the UK, you won't see any uh, plug sockets in the bathroom or any light switches apart from the pull cord type. And this is to avoid the risk of electrical shock. So let's just pop that in there. Damp conditions, e.g. in a bathroom, water uh, can conduct electricity and wet sockets can cause a shock. So that's why, um, by law, there are no electrical points, electrical power points, um, or push switches for lights in bathrooms. C. Damaged cable insulation. If you ever see any insulation that's been damaged or ripped or torn, uh, then that can expose the, the copper wire uh, inside, and in particular the red live wire or the brown live wire. And uh, that copper wire could be touched and can cause an electric shock. So any insulation that's been damaged should be replaced by a competent electrician. So bare cables, bare cables can cause a shock, an electric shock. So we need to replace damaged insulation and don't use the appliance until that insulation has been replaced and repaired. Lastly, overheating of cables, that can cause a fire. Now, this can be caused by plugging too many appliances into a four-way socket, for example. 
The currents from each of these appliances quickly adds up and if it goes over 13 amps that can heat the, the wire of the four-way socket and that can cause a fire. So finally overheating of cables so can be caused by overloading overloading a or an extension an extension lead or four way socket with too many appliances too many high current appliances uh, that can cause a fire if the the wires were to heat up so much that they melted how can we avoid it don't overload four-way extensions and check that you know roughly how much current your um, appliances use generally uh, computer appliances will use low amounts of current one or two amps but uh, kitchen appliances such as toasters and kettles they're using five six seven amps if you were to plug three or four kettles into a four-way adapter then you would find that the uh, the lead of that four-way socket would get very hot and might even melt and cause a fire so know the limit of the uh, of the current that you're drawing so there are four different hazards and what we can do to avoid them.